Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 of the Body Slide and Outfit Studio tutorial. This video is a continuation of part 1. In part 1, we prepped the mod from Skyrim LE by optimizing the meshes and making sure the textures were okay. Then we installed the mod into our mod manager and finished there. In part 2, I will show you how to convert the main piece of the outfit. Usually the main piece of an outfit is the piece that will have the body attached to it. I will show you how to start the project containing body slide files and how to start it if it doesn't have body slide files. So here we have our mod manager with the mod already installed. Next, we will launch body slide. I am launching body slide via MO2 itself. This is a little different from NMM and Vortex. With NMM and Vortex, you can launch body slide outside of the mod manager. But anyway, let's go ahead and open body slide. Once body slide opens, open outfit studio on the bottom right. From here, we will load the outfit's original body slide files since it came with some. Looking at this list, I will guess which one is the main piece. It looks like it might be the one labeled body strap. I will load this. If an outfit mod doesn't come with body slide files, then what we will need to do instead is to load the outfit from the mesh folder manually. To do this, go to File, New Project, we will need to create our own project. In the next window, it's asking you to load a reference body. I generally don't load one this early into the process. Just click on No Reference and hit OK. In the next window, it's asking you to load the mesh of the outfit. Generally, you would have to navigate to the mesh folder of that specific mod and choose the NIF file. Once the NIF files are chosen, just click OK and you will see it loads. Now back to the normal conversion process. Normally speaking, it is a mod author's best interest to have a body attached to the main piece of an outfit. This creates a good consistency for different outfits to play nicely with each other. In this case, the author chose not to include the body reference, so in this conversion, I will just make this main piece with the body reference. As we can see from the name of the project up here, this outfit seems to be using UUNP shape. One thing to note is that UUNP and old CBBE share this exact same body shape. This is convenient for us because Outfit Studio comes with a reference shape that will make this conversion easier. Generally speaking, Skyrim LE mods that have a defined popular reference shape are usually much easier and faster to convert. Popular bodies are usually UUNP, UNP, and OCBBE. If you come across an outfit that has some weird reference shape, I will cover how to convert that in a different video. A weirdly shaped outfit will involve a lot of sculpting, using the brushes, and sometimes creating your own reference. But let's not worry about that. Let's load the Skyrim LE CBBE reference body. This is the name of the conversion reference from old CBBE to new CBBE. When the body loads, inspect all areas to see if the body is actually a good fit for the outfit. 
This helps us see if we need to fix any clippings or deflate areas that stick out too much from the body. So far, the outfit looks good. What we will do next is to clean the skinning of the outfit. The purpose of this is to get rid of any old weighting, reset, alter, transforms, and remove any other irrelevant data we don't need for SE. A clean mesh, if you will. To do this, double click on the outfit mesh, go to geometry tab, and uncheck skinning, and then click OK. We will reload the body slide project to check if this works. When the outfit is reloaded, double click the mesh, go to geometry, and recheck skinning. After that, we'll go to the bones tab with the mesh selected and confirm that it no longer has any weighting. A lack of green bones means that this outfit no longer has weighting. Now we are ready to turn this outfit into the CBBE SE body shape. Since we already loaded the old CBBE conversion reference, all we need to do is to conform the CBBE LE to CBBE SE slider. To do this, just go to slider, conform all. This will apply the slider from the body onto the outfit. After conforming all, move the slider to 100% and then go to slider, set base shape. Set base shape means that it will set the shape of the slider's edit to be the new default so that when we delete the slider, the outfit won't revert back to the old shape. From here, we can delete the current body so that we can load the main CBBE SE body that will be used for the game and for the actual sliders. Let's go to File, Load Reference, and choose CBBE Body Physics. If you don't care for body physics, you can just load the CBBE body one, and the process is the same. After the new body loads, I will be checking once again to see if there's any clipping. It's best to fix clipping before applying new weighting or slider data. Here I see a tiny clip, so I will fix that with a small brush. Once it looks good, let's go and copy the bone weights. If we check the bones tab, we can see that the outfit mesh now has weighting on it as indicated by the green bones. Lastly, conform all to apply the body sliders. I play with a few to see if it worked. I will check the Partition tab to make sure the outfit partition matches the same as the body. This is important in terms of equip slots and making sure it matches with the ASP. Now it's time to save. Part 0 of the video explained how to save your body slide projects, so I will just quickly go through this part. One thing to note is that when it comes to converting mods from LE that already comes with body's files, it's best to leave output file name and the output data path unchanged. The rest can be edited to whatever you want. Click save and it's done. I will now check body slide to see if my project shows up there and if my preset is applied properly. Let's open the drop-down menu and look for our project, which can be found here. I will click on Preview to open a window that displays the outfit with my preset. This is also good to use for checking if the outfit has any clipping with presets.
Once it looks good, I'll click build and the top is now ready for Skyrim with my specific body shape that I want. This concludes part 2 of the tutorial of how to edit tops. As mentioned previously, I will make a separate side video of how to convert more complicated tops that don't use a common reference shape. Part 3 of the video will go over how to convert the hands, gauntlets parts, and the feet boots parts. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to catch the rest of the series.